Well, how do then, Jums Design, Captain of the Steves, and today, Jums, I'm in No Man's Sky. Now, you probably recognise where I'm standing if you've been watching my channel long enough. This is my Mando base. On Ak. Well, it's on. It's, it's my Dune sort of base, but I built a Star Wars build here with um, Scottish Rod. Yeah, um, try and work that one out. But, anyways, basically, what I've got is I've got a little base here. I've got a couple of droids sitting right here, lovely jubbly. And you can see here, there's my base computer there. Now, Scottish Rod actually placed a base computer just at the end over here. And he did it using some sort of glitch technique, people, to move sort of base computers a little bit closer to one another inside of the confines. I mean, basically, all I did to get this to work was go into network settings up here, network settings, and then allowed people to build bases, well, build base parts that were in my friends group. So, yeah, anyone can delete friends group, friends only. Rod is one of my friends, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, I put that as friends only. And then he could put down his own base computer inside of the confines of my own base computer area. And so it's not this, that's an in game sort of thing. An in game sort of thing, people, to allow people to build in close proximity. And uh, yeah, we did that. And his base is right here. His base is freaking huge. And for whatever reason, I can't see it. I can't see it unless Scottish Rod actually logs in. However, visitors to this base, when they come here, sometimes they can see it, sometimes they can't see it, and it's a very, very freaking squiffy. And that's legit, in a way, way to do collaborative builds together. You know, open up your build rights, your edit rights, give them collaborative rights. They stick down their own base computer as well, so, you know, they can continue to see it even after you're logged out. And yeah, uh, sometimes though, when Scottish Rod logs in, I can see his base and then he logs out and I can still see his base after he's logged out for a little while. And then as soon as I upload my base again, his one usually vanishes. But yeah, so this whole video that I want to make today, chums, is about squiffiness and jankiness inside of No Man's Sky, where if things worked how they should work, Technically, we wouldn't have to do glitchiness and weirdness to get things to work inside of games and actually put together workarounds for said squiffiness. Anyway, I don't think I've got a teleporter here, or if I have, I can't remember where I've put it. So I'll reconvene with you. With, I'll have my next example, but that's just the first example of squiffiness and workaroundiness. Welcome back, Jums. I'm at my NMSI sort of bungal world, but here is my settlement. My settlement is looking freaking lovely, right, people? Yes, freaking cool, huh? Yes, that's my settlement. Now, to put down a base computer at a settlement can be extremely, extremely tricky. Uh, yeah, you usually have to build it just outside the confines, but there are ways and means to do it. And yes, I think Craze Gaming done an awesome video on how to put a settlement base together. However, I tried that. My magical settlement sunk by about, what, two metres, and I couldn't get in through any of the doors, even to my uh, main observatory. So I don't really build bases at my own settlement. But you know what? Other people freaking have. Look. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big flying base above my settlement, and I don't think I can get up there at the moment, unless I can fly up there on my ship, but that thing is right above my settlement! I guess it is. And, uh, yeah, sometimes it can disrupt the frame rate of my settlement. But, yeah, I have no idea how it appeared there, but I imagine that's some sort of glittery and weirdness that's taken place there. But someone has built a magnificent base there, so I wouldn't say that it's causing me any issue. And I don't really use my settlement, to be fair, people. I mean, settlements are buggy as fudge. Um, you know, you can get your settlement all the way up to being an S-Class, but then as soon as Sentinels attack, it drops back down to, like, a B rating or something like that. I've got this up to an S rating so many freaking times. Oh, that's interacting with my um, neutron processor for some reason there. Uh, let's just pick that freaking thing up. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I can't. I can't actually pick up my um, 
nutrient processor. Oh, yes, I can. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Boom. I don't know what it was doing up there anyway. Right, let's interact with this now, uh, now that I can. You can see that it's back to a B rate ranking. As, as soon as this goes round and the Sentinel start getting a little bit... When, when this Sentinel alert goes up to about 80%, you'll probably find that it jumps back to being an S class. And that's buggy as fudge. But that's just a, a double bug at this place at the moment. But yeah, the thing I wanted to point out is, yeah, I haven't got my own settlement base, but somebody else has put a base at my settlement. And... and this sort of thing happens quite regularly because, you know, I'm a content creator and I put out the locations of my things. This sort of stuff happens to me quite a lot. I've had like a, a few of my bases built on now, people. Um, did I get here via the Nexus? I did. I can just tally on ho back to the Nexus and I'll be back with you with the... Oh, if I press the right button, I'll be back with you with another example. Well, how do there, chums? I'm at my droid nanite farm, which, yeah, I, I sort of asked people to come here and put down their own droid nanite farms. There's a giant freaking worm jumping around over there. Now, my base computer is in and around here somewhere. However, there is another base computer. Well, actually, my base computer is right here. There's my base computer there. That's my base computer. And there... Is somebody else's base computer. Okay? Now, I did not go into network settings and allow that person to put a base computer there. I do not even know who that person is there. The Dragon Hammer. Yes, I mean, I'm not doing naming and shaming or anything like that. I just want to point out that people can put base computers right next to your base computer. And this up here, this is not my base. This is their base right next to mine. And now there's a shed load of landing pads here and all sorts of shenanigans going on. But this adds to my base in a roundabout way. So I don't only mind that they've built it here. However, when I put out the coordinates to this, I said, please build your bases at least 4,000 U's away from another base. Well, whatever has happened here, people, this chap has managed to put their base computer right next to my base computer, and then somebody else has put another base computer in very close proximity of right just there. I mean, look, that's another base right there, okay? Mellow Martin's base, okay? That is not 4,000 U's away. I could throw a freaking stone there. That's right on the base building confines. In fact, I don't even think it's... I think that's within the base building confines. I can pretty much do a freaking single strafe melee jump and get to this base. So, yeah, people don't really abide by the 4,000 U limit, is what I'm saying. Or they've got ways and means of breaking that 4,000 U's limit. Now, whenever I put out some sort of event, I know this is going to happen, being a content creator, because, you know, people just want to, you know, be close to the people they like watching and enjoying. So these people that have put these bases here are probably fans of mine. So, you know, I've taken it a very different way. I see this as, you know, they just want to be near to Captain Steve. It doesn't bother me. I'm not moaning about this. All I'm pointing out, people, is if my base was super complex, and somebody came here on PlayStation 4 or the original Xbox, or let's face it, this Nintendo Switch, seeing three bases like this clustered so closely together. In fact, there's another one just over there. That's not mine over. <laughs> that's somebody else's as well. And that's right touch up to my one. That's not 4,000 U's away either, is it? That's 160 U's from mine. Yeah, so you get the point. If somebody came here, on one of those consoles and came to this little mini cluster to see my base there's also a fan there's a good chance it's probably going to crash their game people and i know this is going to happen and i know it's going to happen every single time that i put out an event of some kind or do some sort of community sort of hosting thing it's like my egg giveaways my egg giveaway bases all of them have got bases in extremely close proximity i never report them i never do anything like that because at the end of the day i know it's going to happen being a content creator Okay, John, so a lot of you may, maybe saw me build this white grass dragon live on my white grass lush planet inside of the NMSA hub. So this is a relatively new base. And I did say to people, come and put down base computers. Again, I said, try to be respectful of other people's bases, put them about 4,000 years away from each other. Let's see if that's happened even on this brand new build of mine that I've advertised out there, people. Okay, well, I've arrived at my white crash lush. 
Oh, okay. Look, someone's initiating a, a Nexus mission. Right, then, anyhow, let's uh, just jump out of here. Let's fly up onto the back of this thing, and let's just have a little scout around. I mean, sometimes I go to my my bases, and I find a load of comms balls have been placed quite near it. And as I'm walking around my base, comms balls start popping up and all sorts of stuff going, Oh, well, there was a base just there. And that's gone now. That person has removed that base. Okay, well, that, that's pretty darn cool of them. Thanking you. But it could have stayed there, to be honest. But I was going to use this as an example. That, yeah, even after I've built a base just after a couple of days, other bases appear in close proximity. But it's not there now, so that's all cool. But, yeah, that's one hour away, which is great. This is cool. And that one is, ah, um, 601 years away. And that's the structures base. So I know the structure. The structure is another content creator. 600 views away from my base there. I haven't gone to see it. We'll go and have a look at that in a moment, people. That's a new one. What have we got over there? That's three hours away. Lovely. Yeah, so, yeah. Sometimes, you know, people sort of stick to the actual idea of putting them a decent distance away. Let's go and have a look at the old structures base anyway. I think it, what's it, what is it, Nidium Mine or something? I mean, it's only at the top of this blinking hill. I could probably get up there. I'll see you when I get there, people. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, people, well, here's the structures base. Now, you can see here it's quite large in comparison, and, and also my base is quite large. So it's two complex bases fairly close together. I mean, I wouldn't say this is super complex, to be honest, of the structures. But you get the idea. You know, anybody that's on previous consoles, when they come to visit either the structures base or my base, there might be the odd rendering issue. But, yeah, pretty darn cool. What an awesome base. And yeah, it's cool. It's got, like, a lot of plant life going on inside of here. This is like a giant garden centre, the structure. Very awesome. Okay, guess. So let's head on inside. You see, I don't really mind people building them close to mine because I'm on a next-gen sort of console and I get the next-gen sort of experience. I'm just thinking of all of those that are on previous gen and then they come here and they have some sort of issue, perhaps. Or it increases the chances of an issue, I should say. I mean, it's not a guarantee thing I mean look how awesome this is how can I not be happy that someone's built something like this here I love the use of your railings mate those neon signs are freaking ace but yeah you get the idea the reason why we say build 4,000 years away from each other it's it's a, it's a it's an unwritten rule it, it's it's not an actual legit thing but I really wish if you actually are an owner of a hub maybe one hub that you can actually claim as your own you can set certain rules and actually set the radius of how close people can build bases to one another so if you are like the galactic hub or you have got a droid nanite farm like I just showed you previously you've got a little bit of control over it can I get back to the nexus from here because I want to show somebody some, you guys something inside of the nexus I think I've given you enough examples now of bases being uh, built in close proximity to other bases. I mean, it is possible to put your base computer sandwiched right up against another player's base computer, and there's ways and means of doing that, which I'm not going to advertise because I don't really condone it overly. That's why I've never made a video on it, but I do know how to do it, other than the way that I explained at the, fr at the start of this video, which is the legit way. You add your friends' rights in, they come in, and they can put a base computer close to yours if you've given build rights on your base and then you can work in tandem on on a joint city or something that's the legit way to do it that's how it should work and that's the only way it should work in my opinion and i really wish hello games would lock it back down to that yes anyways we're inside of the nexus let me show you something else that i feel is a proof in the pudding that hello games knows Hello Games knows about these bugs. They know about these issues because inside of the featured bases, okay, the featured bases, Hello Games have actually protected these bases. You can't build right up next to these ones, even if you did try, even if you tried one of the exploity type methods of building next to one of these, it doesn't let you. You get to about, the, about uh, I don't know, a, a thousand years away and it, it won't let you do anything. Yeah, these bases are actually protected, but they've been sort of uplifted and mirrored into another server instance. Because if I go back to my Kraken Scorpion, which was a featured base at one point, now it's covered in freaking comms balls. Um, however, when it was in a featured base, the comms balls had to be like a thousand years away. So now I've got one cluster near to my base and another cluster that's a thousand years away because they have ported them back over. It's really unusual. There are safeguards in on these featured bases. That said, 
During the time that we had the bite beats, Veritas Velez built an awesome hi-fi. It was a really cool stereo bass. And um, sadly, that got built upon. Um, I, I don't know if I can get to it. One second, I'll see if I can. Oh, again, that jumps. Well, I'm on the planet where Veritas Velas's build used to be. Now, this is another fault. Um, so, when you're on a busy planet full of bases, you're going to see your own bases if you've built one there. But you're only going to see maybe the last, maybe 20 odd bases that have been uploaded. So these are all the ones that I can see that's on this bite beat planet. Now, his base actually got showcased, it got featured, and it also got attacked. It got completely ransacked. Somebody put bubble pipes all over the dang thing. Yeah, so here we go. Um, you can see here that I can't actually get to Veritas Valis's base. It's not actually showing up inside of the teleporter list for this actual system, and it was a featured base. It was one of the main bases here, and I can't actually see it inside the teleporter list anymore, people. Which is a little bit freaking annoying, because I wanted to use it as an example. Anyway, so he built a giant hi-fi system, like an old ghetto blaster. I've built an old-style Walkman on this planet, but it's not, it's not anywhere near even close as good as what his was. Yeah, his looks freaking awesome with a tape deck and everything. But yeah, his got trolled. His got loads of stuff plastered all over it, and uh, yeah, it completely busted his base. And that was a featured base, and that's when Hello Games started putting in some re ring fences on featured bases, but they haven't done that on other players' bases, normies out there, like myself, which I showed you with my Droid Planet base. That's probably the best example that I've still got. And also my settlement with a base being built right above my settlement. It can still happen, people inside the Viewerverse. Now, something else that I've got for you people, let me make myself a bit bigger on the screen before we end off on this, is another example was I actually helped somebody out Somebody had built a base on a volcanic world, one of these lava worlds, and they had put like an idiom mine right over by the volcano and a platform with a teleporter away from the volcano. And they actually said, come and get your free idiom. And there was a teleporter, like a, 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 a site to site teleporter to take you over to where the idiom mine was. But when you teleported, rather than it taking you where the idiom mine was, it teleported you into the volcano and you just kept repeatedly dying. OK, now this is across game saves. So this is on permadeath. It, this probably ended some people's game saves, which is another exploit. You know, you should be able to report that base. But even when you try to do it off of the quick menu to report the base, the base computer didn't show up. The person had managed to delete their base computer, which is another glitch, which is inside of game. I, I could show you how to delete the base computer. I'm not going to show you how to delete the base computer because that shouldn't happen. It's as squiffy as fudge. And yeah, that happened. And the only way that I could actually save this person that had got stuck inside of the actual uh, volcano, because they hit me up on Discord and said, Captain Steve, can you come here? These are the coordinates. This is the base. This is what's happening. Every time I load in, it keeps killing me over and over again. I've lost all my stuff, but I just want to be able to get my save back. So I actually managed to build a base computer using one of the known glitches right next to that base. And I managed to put down another site to site teleporter next to the one at the entrance and then put one near enough so that other player could get out of that volcano and back out of that base. It took me a good 30 minutes to work out how to get them out of there and using non-legit glitches to save them from that plight. But all this sort of stuff, Hello Games has known about because people can report those. But there's a lot of these bases that are trap bases. There's a lot of trap bases out there, people. And the people that create them, I don't know why you need to make trap bases. It's another form of trolling. And trolling seems to happen quite a lot, people, inside of this, the uh, community now. Um, I've done a video with Miyogi where we were doing an egg giveaway. And we got trolled during that. Somebody turned up, put down a load of slime all over our platform so you couldn't see which platform was what platform. And then they set off a shed load of fireworks out at the base and completely crashed it for everybody and completely wrecked our egg giveaway event. So we've had trolling happen actually on a live stream and that's been reported to Hello Games. The Veritas Velas instance, that got reported to Hello Games. I have reported some instances to Hello Games of complete base takeovers. It's like during one of the weekend missions, ages ago when the weekend missions used to be different 
they you used to have to go to like a relic site or something like that to go to a glyph or a monolith or something to hit up your next bit of lore somebody built a freaking giant box over that relic site so you couldn't get anywhere near it so you couldn't complete the weekend mission that one i reported that one got massively reported and hello games fixed it before even the weekend sort of ended they managed to delete that base so everybody could actually get that lore and get it done they fixed it within like about four hours of it being reported to hell now i kind of feel that if people are encroaching and you see a base computer appear right next to your base computer um i know i don't report them because i'm a content creator and i know that these people are probably just fans of mine i mean when they do respectful builds and it adds to the build and i can see that they've done something pretty awesome i'm not going to report it if they've built a giant freaking box over one of my bases or they put slime all over my bases of course i'm going to report it you know it's logic and logic dictates you know common sense you know so just i would say if you find that people have trolled your base through whatever method report the base report the base because hello games have got the ways and means of doing something about it inside of game and you know this thing is only going to get worse before it gets better it needs a lot of reports before hello games actually tightens up their stuff but i'm wondering whether they are going to tighten up their stuff those free featured bases inside of the nexus have been there for a good like six to seven months now in fact i think even longer than that before hello games used to rotate out featured bases every three months and we'd see some sort of development update that would come with that rotation it's like when my crack and scorpion got featured it was there for about three months and then it got rotated out and i think that's when all the bite beat ones came in and there was always something for us content creators to get our teeth into because we we had the development update we also had the featured bases rotated out so we could at least go and see those and there would always be a new quicksilver store refresh of items coming in and it, it used to run like clockwork but at the moment people it seems to be that these featured bases have remained here for freaking ages let me just jump back into game now i'm there so these three bases uh misha pishheads and jerones and, and sparkle rain i think they've been there for at least eight months uh, I correct me if I'm wrong it could even be longer than that but we used to see these things rotated out a heck of a lot more often um, bugs like I've, I've been talking about like people being able to encroach base computers right up next to your own base computer it's not a new thing it really isn't a new thing this has been going on for at least two years people and um, when they started merging the servers even more so i'm seeing it happen and it might not even be those players faults you see what could have happened with that zoid base that i've built somebody might have got the x and y coordinates for the planet the actual locational coordinates mine was built in normal mode they might have built those in creative mode and now hello games have chucked all the servers together it might have just slapped their base right next to my base that could have happened too you know so there's a lot of different ways that this sort of base shenanigans can happen is what i'm getting at people and there are known glitches out there and the, there's about four different ways to do it there's about four different ways to do it that i know of and i'm not even a glitcher you know so there's probably even more than four ways to do it people inside the viewerverse uh, i know that pcs have got a mod actually that's five ways so there's five ways that i can think of right now how you can actually pull that off and um it's wrong hello games needs to get on this hello games need to get it fixed and uh if you're seeing your base is trolled in any way shape or form people report them and hopefully hello games can work it out the only thing i don't like when you report a base or whatever you can't put in notes there's no sort of notes to say well my base was built way before another base and it's encroached into my area please get rid of it or somebody's built a super complex base next to my base and now i can't see my base or it's not rendering you know that sort of stuff there might be a ways and means that hello games can do something i have no idea but at the same time this is one of the reasons why i don't do as many events as i used to do and if i am to share my base coordinates it's bases that i don't overly care about or that i've built with inside of about an hour i don't want to share out the coordinates of bases that have taken me say four to six hours to build because they could get trolled and there's a big likelihood they get they might get trolled so you guys in the view of us you've probably seen some of my most complex bases but i very rarely give out the portal coordinates and uh, it's a shame it's a shame that we have to think about that sort of thing people because i would like you to be able to view all of my bases and come and visit them but it's just that there's a there's a, a small few that might ruin it for the many 
is what I'm getting at, peeps. Anyways, so yeah, that's that's pretty much my little rant. And this is just on base computers, okay? I could take this rant and I could put it on any aspect right now of Hello uh, of No Man's Sky. Any aspect of No Man's Sky, I could do a rant video on like this because there, for every positive in No Man's Sky, there is an equal negative now. And it, I, I, maybe it's come through PC exploitation and using mods, but a lot of it, no. It's down to a poor dev programming and leaving massive freaking gaps in code, you know? I might do a few more of these videos, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to come across as a, as a negative Nelly. You know, I still love building these bases. I still love doing what I do inside of the No Man's Sky verse. I'm just a little bit more ca careful now with what I share. And I, that's not fair on you as my viewers, as, as my you know backers and all sorts. You should be able to come and take a look at my bases and build near my base if you want within, you know, neighborhood sort of respectful ways. You know, like, you know, 2,000, 4,000 U's max, you know, or 2,000 if it's not a complex base. You know, it's common sense type, type stuff. Sticking something 600 U's away that's massively complex it it doesn't do other people that want to visit any favors is what i'm getting at people so yeah anyways um i'm gonna end off now and um hopefully that's given you food for thought but more so i'm gonna send this to hello games i'm sending this over to their zen desk i'm just gonna send it to them to say you know tighten this stuff up because one of the things that keeps no man's sky going during lulls it's base building. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. You know the exploration that's gone out the freaking window freaking ages ago. It's the base building that's keeping this game alive and communities going and building up hubs and doing some role playing and all that sort of stuff. That's what's keeping the community going in times where it's quiet. And then if you've got all these exploits to ruin that for people or make people more cautious about sharing their stuff, it reduces that level of fun. It's. It's a double-edged sword, people. This needs fixed. It needs to get worse before it gets better because that's the only time Hello Games freaking acts. But if people start ruining community hubs, then players are going to leave. So it's a non-win situation until Hello Games pulls their socks up and says, right, we need to fix this base building shenanigans. And we've opened up the floor to even more exploits now by merging these servers together. And people are finding ways and means of getting base computers on top of base computers and taking people's rights away from building on their own freaking base. Whew. Anyway, I'm going to go get myself a cup of tea before my head explodes. Goodbye, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.